Jason. Um, I've got your puppet finished, so I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough um, exactly what he does. Um, so we're going to go over some of the things that I covered in the last video, but this is just uh, overall of everything. So first of all, um, as you know, he's got his expression. So smile, surprise, your bonus grin, happy, ooh, annoyed, hat on, Rip jeans on off, logo on and off, eye lines on and off, ponytail, and as you can see, you've got their hair dangle on all of them. Again, you can control just the eyes on their own, and if we go down, you can control all the mouths on their own, which is always useful when you're putting together an animation. Um, what else? You've got the lip sync, so you can do it in real time or you can go to your timeline and you can import audio and automatically lip sync to that. So here's one I brought in earlier and press play. Lip sync test. Testing, testing, one, two, three. And that's that simple. All you do, you import um, an audio file and then you just make sure you click on your puppet and then you, oh, uh, let me just move this up. On the puppet, go to timeline, and you go compute lip sync take from scene. And then, if there's any particular vitamins you think are in the wrong place, you can just right click and pick the correct one. There's lots of tutorials on that. In fact, on our own channel, on our most recent um, video that we made all about how to make an animation, which is two hours long, we go into lots of tips and tricks about how we put together our animation. Right, so what else have we got? Um, yeah, the other two things that I was working on um, was the arm movements and the walk, um, the walk cycle. So first of all, let's have a look at the walk cycle. Got him walking that way, got him walking this way. Now normally when I do um, a standard walk cycle, it's literally it's just a character walking in the one direction and it's just the head fixed. But as you can see here, your character is actually um, keeping all its um, facial movements and lip syncing. And if you know, put the hat on, make the jeans disappear, ponytail, eye line, logo. I've embedded all these. It's basically it's a fully functional puppet when he's walking, which normally is a you know like a higher thing um, option that we do. So that's a another bonus that I've added in for you. Um, what else? Oh yeah, and I was going to do all the arm behaviours, which I've done. So let's have a look what we can. For the left arm, we got. Hand in the pocket, and the hip, pointing in that direction, pointing in that direction, thumbs up, and a general gesture. Um, we got in the right arm gesture, point, phone. If you go into your Photoshop file, um, you could actually um, put a picture on that phone, just um, stick it in the layer, and that'll work. Peace. Hello. Hey. Um, and what else? Double gestures, double low gesture, double mid gesture, high, two hands on the hips, and then we got him holding a mug, having a drink, got him holding a shot, drink it. Yep. I suppose you can have the mouth, like when you're animating this, you know, I, would, I personally I would use um, the A mouth, so that's an R, ah, open mouth, and you got, so it looks like he's drinking it. Um, pint glass, um, bottle, I got a different button for drinking the bottle one just because of the shape of the bottle it needed to be slightly different. And yeah, I think that is everything. So yep, showing you all the expression, showing you all the trigger buttons, got all the arm movement, got him walking left and right. And I do believe that is a fully functional puppet. Uh, if you have any questions, please do feel free to ask.